The tension between Meghan Markle and Victoria Beckham, the fashion icon and former Spice Girl, continues to reverberate with dramatic intensity. On one side stands Meghan, a woman who once graced the screens of television as an actress and now navigates the treacherous waters of royal life, seeking to carve out her niche as an entrepreneur. On the other is Victoria, an emblem of the 90s pop culture revolution, whose trajectory from pop stardom to fashion domination has earned her both acclaim and adoration. It would seem that Meghan, a newcomer to this world of elite fashion and high-profile appearances, would jump at the chance to secure Victoria's support. After all, what better way to align herself with the high priestess of style than by donning her designs? But the reality is far more complicated than that. Royal expert Neil Sean indicates that Meghan's aspirations for a collaborative partnership were not met with the enthusiasm that she expected. Rumour has it that Victoria was less than keen on the idea of dressing Meghan, a sentiment that Meghan misread as a personal affront. In a bid for exclusivity and influence, Meghan reportedly envisioned a dress designed specifically for her, the so-called Meghan dress. A dress that would encapsulate the essence of the Duchess merging royal elegance with the fierce independence that Meghan embodies. But Victoria, with a wealth of experience in the fashion industry, knew all too well the implications of such a request. The notion of branding a dress with Meghan's name would not only risk accusations of exploitation, but would also draw unwelcome scrutiny on both women. In her efforts to ascend the ranks of royal fashion, Meghan perhaps underestimated the complexity of the situation. Victoria's refusal wasn't merely a rejection of a potential collaboration, it was an assertion of boundaries. A staunch reminder that the world of celebrity comes with its own set of rules and ethics. While Meghan may have envisioned a symbiotic relationship, Victoria recognised that aligning her brand with Meghan could lead to backlash both for her and the royal family. What followed was an unravelling of any semblance of friendship between the two. While David Beckham, Victoria's husband, shared a cordial relationship with Prince Harry, it was evident that the threads connecting these two couples were fraying. Despite their past camaraderie, the spectre of Meghan's ambitions loomed large. The rift was made all the more poignant by the backdrop of Meghan's journey into royal life. From the moment she stepped into the spotlight as Prince Harry's bride, she was positioned not just as a wife but as a global figure, with ambitions of influence and a desire to redefine royal roles. Meghan began her narrative long before the wedding bells rang. Her infamous interview with Oprah was a bold declaration of her intention to control her story, a move that some would argue began the alienation of those once close to her. As the dust settled, it became painfully clear. Victoria's hesitance to indulge Meghan's whims wasn't just a matter of fashion, it was about preserving her integrity as a designer. The world watched as the two women's paths diverged, one rising in the fashion hierarchy while the other, despite her royal title, faced a growing pile of public scrutiny.